Well, every time I see you, you look absolutely amazing. No one is more excited about your success than we are. The new book is called One Fifth Avenue. It's out on September 22nd. How long did it take you to write this? You know, this is a, a, a little bit of a funny one because I actually started off writing a completely different book. I started writing a book about a girl who lived in Connecticut who had to struggle to be ordinary. Then everybody said that's too depressing. <laughs> okay. I thought it was kind of funny, but um, and then I decided that it would be fun to write a book about a building in <clears throat> Manhattan. And I originally started off calling the book The Building. Okay. Which everybody was like a little, hmm. And I kept saying, but that's what the book is about. It's about a building. Um, and then we we came up with One Fifth Avenue because that's just a fantastic building in the West Village that is – uh, really well known, and it's a magnificent, glamorous building. And so, what are you doing right now? Are you doing the dishes or something? Yeah, <laughs> I can <could> tell. <laughs> I'm walking around my apartment. I, tell. I just unloaded my dishwasher. I knew it. And I-, I just paid some bills, <laughs> and I'm feeling like, oh. Great, my life's under control. Okay, I read this great quote from Andre Leon Talley. He talked about you and said, Sex in the City was a great thing because it's very positive and not just because I had a cameo. And he goes on to talk about how you worked at Vogue and didn't write a tell-all book. I worked at Vogue and I wrote a column called People Are Talking About So there would be something about music. It was really about trends. Right. I actually was never – I was in the offices of Vogue maybe once a month. Okay. So I didn't didn't have a desk there. I didn't actually work there. I was a – I was a contributor. So just like Carrie Bradshaw. Well, there's some similarities there. (laughs) Well, congratulations on the movie this summer – I mean, what, uh, you know, and, and I know from meeting you how you, you seem so grounded with all of this success uh, from the movie to be such a success, which I know you have to think they did a good job with it. You know, I loved that movie and so many women have come up to me and just said they love the movie. And on top of it, it was an event. And women went with their girlfriends, and they dressed up, and it was it was really fantastic. And you've got to feel good that, Candace, you're so much of the inspiration for all of that. I, I mean, that is uh, that's got to be pretty flattering. It it is, and it's kind of amazing. And of course, they're you know they're incredibly nice to me. Well, they they're, should they're be. Just, Sarah Jessica <laughs> Parker is a doll. Well, um, we're so excited for you to come to Atlanta. Uh, I, know, I can't wait to watch Lipstick Jungle. I think that's going to be great, too. Lipstick Jungle is it's really great this season. It, well, you know, it's funny. When I first watched it, the first episode, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. And then it got really, really good. I think the characters are terrific. Well, you know, the crazy thing about the very first episode, the pilot, mm-hmm. it, was, it, it was written by... About four different people, myself included. Okay. So it was a little bit of what we call in TV land a Frankenstein. I, I understand. I understand. Like because too many cooks was, in the kitchen. You know, put together with different viewpoints and that sort of thing. Right. But then we had Tim Busfield, who is... From 30-something. From 30-something, who is our executive producer, director. Sure, sure. I mean, he's done a lot more than that, but, of course, I remember him for that. Yeah, I mean, he's worked on Studio 60. He worked on West Wing. Right. You know, so it's, you know, the tone now is is consistent. That first episode, we always say to people, "Uh uh-uh. Just watch it and then watch the rest of the episode. Well, that was it was my faith in you that kept it going. And I think Brooke Shields, I mean, what an anchor she is. Is she she's she, unbelievable. She's fantastic. And in this the second season, uh, all of the girls' lives are shaken up and they have big big changes and Brooke just has some really 
touching moment. Well, I can't wait to see it. We can't wait to see you. You're going to be here October 6th at the Margaret Mitchell House. Exactly. One Fifth Avenue, but you're going to come in the studio. You're going to be my well, you, guest. And you have to keep reading One Fifth Avenue. There's a – have you gotten to the part about Lola? I am not there yet. Okay, so you're just at the very, very beginning. Yes, yes, yes. Just okay. started. Just got it. Well, there – it has amazing characters and the things that happen – Oh, my God. Uh, well, All I can tell you, Mindy Gooch, James Gooch, Lola. It's crazy. People are having, like, arguments over, you know, which is their favorite character. Well, uh, you are such a terrific writer and a great person. The book is One Fifth Avenue, out in store September 22nd, and you will be in the studio in October. We will really be excited for that. The great Candace Bush now. You can, um, put your di- you can run your dishwasher now. I'm going to. (laughs) Yeah, thank you so much. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, sweetie. Take care.